Welcome back to the second video of the this tutorial series. In this video, I am going to create the single row template for our recycler view, and at the same time, I will be creating a image that how to select an image from the your emulator or your device. So first of all, let me create a single row over here. This would be used as a template. I am going to name it single underscore row. And change the layout to relative layout then press ok okay in the start we're going to have two views first would be text view in which we will show the name of our image and second would be the image view itself in which we will show our image that we will store into our SQLite database so first of all in the very first step I'm going to change this to wrap content after that I'm going to create a text view in which we will show the name of our image so I'm going to say match parent wrap content and here I'm going to put the dummy text with the image details okay and going to set the background for this and background would be orange top text color would be white now I'm going to change the text size that would be 20 SP okay no padding left would be 10 dp and I'm going to provide ID of this single row image details text view okay so next thing we are going to have is an image view match parent 400 dp scale type would be center crop and ID would be image image view and this would be below of our single row image detail text view let me change the id to single row image view okay as a dummy image i am going to use the mode that we have created into previous application so we have uh, created a single row for our recycler view in which we are going to show our data so in the next step i am going to create a method through which we will select an image from our emulator or from our device so let me move back into our main activity here i'm going to create a method but before that let me connect our this image view and this added text with our java views okay so i'm going to create an added text here added text this would be image details added text and this would be a private next I'm going to create an image view private image view image view and I'm going to name it object image view okay so in the on create section of the image let me create let me surround it with the try catch so if some exceptions comes around then this try catch block will handle that now i'm going to connect the image added text it was to find view by id or dot id image added text and after that object image view would equal to find view by id or dot id image let me check the id for this into our main activity so id for this image view is image okay so I would be using image okay so that's it now I'm going to create a method that actually will select an image from our emulator so I'm going to say public public void choose image and to make it clickable I'm going to pass view class object and in the first step you should do is to surround this code with the try catch block okay so now I'm going to create an intent object intent would equal to new intent after that set the type that we are going to get image and we are going to select all kind of images so just put static after that object intent dot set type and this would be 
intent dot action get content and after that just call start activity for result object intent now you have to create a variable other than zero so i'm going to create private static final int pick image quest this is equal to 100 you can take any number other than zero okay pick image here you have to pass that pick image request okay that's it now you have to override the method on activity result okay so first again let me create some room over here in the very first step just run code of this method with the try catch block just let me copy it from here okay in the first step you have to check if request code equal equal pick image request code and result code should equal to result equal to okay and data should not be equal to null after that data dot get data should not be equal to null as well so we will be having this code okay in the first step create a uri variable private uri and i'm going to name it image file path in which we will store our image file path this would be equal to image file path would be equal to data dot get data after that we will store this image into our bitmap so i will be creating a, a bitmap over here this would be private bitmap image to store okay and this would image to image to store would be equal to media store dot images dot media get bitmap and here i would be passing the object of get content resolver and after that i will path the image file path okay so in the next step after getting the bitmap image i'm going to set this image to our image view so image view would be equal to our object image view dot set bitmap image and here i will be storing that image to store okay so uh, we have completed the coding for our own activity result okay now in the final step of this video i'm going to call this method which is choose image on the on activity and on the on click of this image view on click attribute on click and choose image so now let me run this application so you we can see the final changes into it I'm going to use the Nexus 6 pixel. Okay, guys, so our application is up and running. I'm going to click on this image view and will show our internal storage of the emulator. Just click on this image view. Okay, so no activity found to handle it. Let me check the error that why it is not running the application. Okay, going back into our main activity okay guys so as you can see that over here in we have set the type over here but we have to change it to set action so instead of type we have to use the set action method so this was the mistake let me run the application again okay guys our application is up and running just click on this and after that a new activity will be open and from here go to click on this three icons for just if you have already shown your internal storage that there is no need to click it again but if you have uh, not shown your internal storage just click this icon and you uh, click on show internal storage from here i'm going to select click on this burger icon recent and from here select your internet internal storage from there select pictures and upload any picture that select any picture and that applic uh, pictures will be shown into an activity okay so that's it for this uh, guys in the next video i'm going to show you guys that how to store this 
picture inside SQLite storage. So see you guys in the next video.